Hey people, it's Saturday, July the 16th, and the time is 6.02 in the evening, and I'm here at Dundas Street Subway Station with Megan, and we're going to be heading to Yorkdale Shopping Center on the subway, so we're going to transfer over to the southbound platform and ride the train all the way around through the loop at Union Station and then continuing north all the way to Yorkdale. We're going to go see something cool at Yorkdale, the Friends Experience, I think it's called, or something like that. Is that what it's called? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> Based off of the Friends sitcom, where they have sets that look just like the rooms that you've all seen on that TV show, the apartments, Chandler's apartment, and Joey's and Monica and Rachel's apartment and all that sort of stuff, so we're going to go and check all that stuff out because that's Megan's favorite show of all time. It's the one where we pretend we're in Friends. That's right, we're going to go pretend we're hanging out at the Friends apartments. Everybody seems to be on a mission here and determined to walk directly into me. <laughs> and there's the train. I don't know if we're going to make it unless we do a very sudden bolt, but we might make it. Oh, that's not our train. Okay, that's on the other side. <laughs> Just ignore what I said. <laughs> So, could you be any more excited to experience the Friends experience? Yes. Right, why did I have to say it like that? Yeah. <laughs> You're already getting into channel. Right. <laughs> Let's do the rat check. I always do a rat check. A rat check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a bag of garbage. <laughs> and it's quite stuffy here, but the air conditioned train should be arriving in a couple of minutes. And then it will be cool air conditioning the entire way up to Yorkdale. And then of course... It's one of those trains in BC, is it working? Oh, it better not be. It better not be one of those trains. I yeah. <laughs> I've like gotten off subways before because I was like, you know what, I'll be late for work. I'm not sitting in this like stuffy car for an hour. Yeah. No I agree. <laughs> Well, since we have a couple of minutes, I'm going to pause the video and I'll resume once the train arrives. And here it comes. Holy, it's crowded. But why? <laughs> Like we'll have to stand. All right, we'll snag some seats. Please stand clear of the doors. 
things in my back pocket. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just put that in there because it's not. I was just afraid it would push out like my health card or something for my purse. Next station is Queen Queen Station. Now well, it's just one continuous ride up to Yorkdale. If we boarded on the northbound platform, we would have had to transfer at Bloor onto Line 2. And then transferred again back onto Line 1 at Spadina or St. George. So that would have been two transfers. I saw on the news recently that the subway system in Toronto has only recovered to about 60% of its ridership. Really? That's it? From before the pandemic. Because like, yeah. looking around at this car right now, I would say this is very close to what it was pre-pandemic, yeah. if not exactly how it was pre-pandemic. I think on weekends, the ridership is probably closer to pre-pandemic levels, yeah. but during the weekday is when the ridership really goes down due to so many people still working from home or only working a few days a week. Yeah. Next in station. In the office. Union station. And a lot of people are still hesitant to even use public transit. Yeah, I, I get that. Or especially like if you live downtown, there's like really no reason to use public transit, you know? I never stopped using it <laughs> throughout the whole I know. pandemic. Cause... Well, you were like never scared of getting sick. No. So. Union. Union Station. Doors will open on the left. And also, I wanted to capture some of those nearly empty subway trains, you know, when I uh, did some videos early on in the yeah. pandemic, right? Yeah. Like, look at this train. Were it's they almost, really empty? Well, not empty completely, but not not busy. Like, plenty of room, right? Because I think at that time, ridership was over 80% less than normal, right? Holy, that's yeah. like almost completely gone. Yeah. So now it's 40% less than normal, so it's getting there. Please stand clear of the doors. I saw a few annoyed blitz. Is that your camera? Yeah. Oh well. Next station is St. Andrew. St. Andrew Station.
arriving at St. Andrew, St. Andrew Station. Doors will open on the left. Doors. Where is everybody going? Are they all going to see the Friends uh, experience, maybe? Yeah. They can't, because we have tickets for our time. <laughs> Next station is Osgood. Osgood Station. It's similar with Go Transit. On weekends, ridership is fully recovered on weekends on Go, go Transit, but yeah. on oh, week, yeah. weekdays it's still well below normal for the same reason. Every time I take the train from Guelph at Austin. night, it's like always packed. Austin. Yeah. Like always. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's definitely not down, but they took the Friday night train away for a while and then they just brought it back after the May 2 4 weekend, so oh, yeah. 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 Please stand clear of the doors. There's three empty seats right beside me, but people are still choosing to stand. Yeah. So probably like yeah. getting off. Yeah. Maybe Next my camera station. is repelling them. Maybe. Right. <laughs> yep. Get off, get off, get off. <laughs> of people directly in front of us. Yeah. yeah. I think like once we get into the northern stations there'll be less and less people. Yeah. Like how many people are going all the way up to York, right? Yeah, yeah. Purposely pointing my camera directly at the doors <laughs> instead of at the seats on either side, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so that people don't think they I'm not like, you know, sticking it right in somebody's face or whatever. But if someone happens to stand right in front of where I'm pointing it, well, that's nothing I can do about that, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Next station is Museum, Museum Station. This is probably the nicest subway station in the whole system, maybe, one of them. Yeah, I like Museum Station. Yeah. I used to try to read the hieroglyphs on the posts. Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
arriving at museum, museum station, doors to open on the left. Change for line two. I never understand a word they say when they make those announcements. I know. <laughs> 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 Change here for line two. Doors will open on the right. Yeah, <laughs> 
Town area. <laughs> Next station is Dupont. Dupont Station. <laughs> Taking a nap. Saint Clair West. Saint Clair West Station. I wonder if she'd notice if I got off the train and left her. <laughs> I'll get off at Yorkdale. She can continue on all the way to Vaughan Metropolitan Don't Center. Don't you dare! <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm not sleeping. I'm meditating. And then she'd be like. What the heck? What am I doing in Vaughn? <laughs> Where did Ken go? There would be another panic attack on its way, that's for sure. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is trying to avoid one, so yeah. I'm meditating. <laughs> This is one of my favorite stations in the system. This is the one where the streetcars come underground. And the buses go underground too.
states there's states with an mechanical on board a train. You can search the holy north south states there station with a mechanical on board a train. Well, at least we're not on that line. That's true, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> like, oh, thank God that's not our line. Edmonton West. Edmonton West Station. Doors will open on the right. train comes above ground. It runs down the median of the Allen Expressway. Next station. Station. Oh, this is the stop I always forget about. Glen Cairn, I know it. Eh? Yeah, I'm always like, oh, Eglinton, Lawrence, we're almost there, and it's like, no, Glen Cairn. Yeah, it's like the most useless stop on the whole line, maybe. <laughs> I guess some people <laughs> are glad it's there if they live right right beside it. <laughs> it's funny because on the other branch of Line 1, the Young branch, there is no station on that part of the line that would be at the same location as Glen Cairn, right? Well, that's why I always forget about it. Yeah. It goes directly from Eglinton to Lawrence on that part of the line. happening on the train. <laughs> All those screeching kids and stuff. You know? <laughs> Always the best part of any subway ride. Yeah. Got some gum. Just a 
bit over half an hour. It's not very long, really. It's not bad. Yeah. It felt like much shorter. Yeah. It didn't feel like that long. Yeah, yeah. The text. Oh, wait. It's like an episode of Friends. That's right. <laughs> Which we are about to enter. That's right. <laughs> Including commercials, though. Yeah. Including commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Yorkdale, Yorkdale Station. Doors will open on the left. Oh, back out into the the mugginess here. So this will take us directly into the mall, but I'm going to stop this video and I'll be doing a mall walk after this. So hope you enjoyed the ride from Dundas Station all the way up here to Yorkdale on Line 1. Have you ever done this ride before? Was yeah, I have. A couple times, yeah. leave a comment below and be sure to like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also make sure you hit that notification bell that way you won't miss any of my videos and if you'd like to support the channel there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal and via my merch store as well as via the recently enabled super thanks button right down below and you can also find me on Instagram under K continuum so thanks for watching and be sure to keep checking back because I will continue as will Megan. Yes, <laughs>